subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for all notifications. And if you got price, you get off your uh, website. Was the pipe a surprise or what was it? I mean, do you speak? Yeah. Uh, well, if you look at the, the last few games, Salvajan had it involved a lot. Uh, so it was a case of what the skipper felt he wanted to use. We played Hyderabad three times reasonably quickly, and he wanted another option around the right handers. Uh, the fact that Goswami played again was, was okay at the top. Um, and it was just an option, the, again, the, the captain wanted the leg spin option. Uh, it had been discussion all the way through. We, we had been very open with our spinners around the combinations of uh, not necessarily left hand, right hand, but who could do what. Uh, and both Harvajan and Karim Sharma have got great records in finals and also very good records at, uh, at Wangidi. So it was just simply a case of gut feel and they messed with the ball. You think the bowlers did a good job? I mean, uh, final and one year, two hundred or two. Apart from it, you can't chase it. Yeah, I was really happy. I, I saw Kane say that they were happy with their score, but I was happy because it could have been a lot more. And I think the last two overs for McGeady and, and Shardor, which hadn't been a strength, um, were really important. To only go for nine each over, 18 runs, to get it under 180, I thought was uh, was a good result. I said it was around past score, but it was based on the way that they played. Um, and look, the way that they bowled in the first four or five overs, it suggested it was going to be a very tough score. But uh, we were able to get some momentum and, and uh, in the end get there quite easily, which was not a reflection of the game by any means, but a reflection of an innings from Shane Watson. Um, but yes, I was, back to the question, I was pretty comfortable with the way we bowled. Steve, congratulations. Uh, Shane Watson uh, had struggled for the last couple of years at RCB and uh, there are plenty of current. I think uh, Trump will answer that because of the team management, he is the one who controls it. And as far as CSK is concerned, all of you know that we've had for the last eight years what we did. And uh, obviously, it's been a team which has worked as a unit. And I was very confident that even when we come back after two years, we will definitely do well. And the credit goes to Clem and MS who have done a wonderful job. They have faith put in you from the franchise, and Cassie is being a little bit uh, modest. Uh, our franchise backs us very well. We've been consistent with the players that we've picked, and once we have a core group, we've probably bucked the trends by sticking with the players through thick and thin, because we think that gives us a, an overall chance of of success and even this season as well we um, we went back to players that we really respected and the loyalty comes back in droves and we saw performances from different players throughout the season uh, so it wasn't just one or two players dominating it was it really was a squad effort and that's something that I'm very proud of as well yeah it was a big moment and it was in this hotel we just won a good game um, and we were faced with the decision of, of having to leave Chennai and when we sat at the auction table, most of our plans were around building a team for Chennai conditions. So it was uh, it was a difficult situation, but it's out of our control. So we just had to get on with it. Uh, Skipper and I had had experience at Pune, and that was a deciding factor when we said we'd, we'd like to go back there because it's conditions we know there. There are aspects to playing there that we can get some advantage. But what we had to change was the way we were going to play the game. So we became more senior dominated, uh, and the strong spinning lineup we had had to to, to, to sit on the side. The Imran Tahirs and even Harvajan, the amount of overs and, and Jadeja, how much they bowled. So it was a big change, and uh, again, it was somewhat out of our control. So you just got to get on with it, and the experience within the side enabled us to do that. So uh, we made the transition pretty well, and and Fathom did quite strong record at Pune, which is what we were hoping to do here. Hi, uh, six months back, I mean just a week before the auction, Tony was here. He spoke about the team culture saying players who have done well, who have not done well outside come here and do well. And similarly when they do well here and probably they picked in the next one, they don't exactly replicate that form there. 
he spoke about how the management understands the game, so it is easy for the captain and sir to they know where the team draws or where they want. So he didn't have to explain. How would you view the situation like in, in Dhoni's comments? Like what's your take? Because you are the one who's more involved in dealing with the management side of things. Yeah, there, there is a, the Dhoni impact, and it's very important. Um, Indian players, in particular, that is it, it extends to international players that. Dhoni does have a very strong influence and impact on players and he tends to give players belief. Uh, what we try to do as management is give a, a strong role for the player. So couple that with the MS belief and, and confidence in a player with a strong role, uh, it tends to work for us. But um, MS does have a, a very strong ability to bring the best out of players and it's our job to wrap that up in a team and provide a, a bit more of a structure. Um, so it's a great dynamic. There have been a number of players who have, um, at some stage, as you say, in their career that uh, have needed a bit of a boost. Uh, we see that as an opportunity rather than a, a favour to the player. So we look at them as, like Ryder is a very good example, uh, being in and out of the side to, we think, giving him a consistent role and he repaid that in bucket loads. And he's just a, an example of one player, but you could probably say there's double figures that have done that for us. So. So it's, it's, it's great, it's using the, the strength of a, a, a remarkable captain uh, with a strong franchise with a good game plan. Last one. Um, well, it's, it, it's hard, with obviously just coming out of a campaign, I, I'm not even sure we were the best team in the competition, but we had a really strong desire to do well. Um, I, I think it's one of the most even IPLs that there has been. We talk about meticulous planning, every other team is meticulous, use of stats. If anything, we use a little bit more cricket feel uh, and gut feel on people. We invest a lot in people by length of contracts and the type of personality. So we're not stats driven, uh, we're people driven. And that's something that will continue, but we're looking to evolve. Next year's going to be an even bigger challenge. Um, yep, it's been identified we're an old, older side. So we've got to make sure that the, the players that we retain are still professional and can still contribute. But it's 12 months away, so we're still pretty much in the euphoria of winning yesterday, to be honest. For more updates, please like, share and subscribe to YoYo Times.